Have you been questioning your price? Are you asking yourself things like, are my prices too high? Perhaps people can't afford it. Uh, maybe you're wondering whether you should be putting out something which is lower ticket, like a membership site, so you can make your offers more affordable to more people and hopefully make more sales that way. Well, if you've been asking yourself any of those questions, please take a couple of minutes to watch this video because I'm gonna show you how you can put those doubts and that uncertainty out of your mind once and for all. Why am I so certain about this? I'm Bernadette Doyle, and for over 20 years, I've been helping people like you to get more clients, and more recently, to help them get clients online. And in that time, if I were to have a penny for every time I've had a client in front of me who has expressed some doubts or concerns about their price, it seems to be this inner question, are my prices right? And it's understandable why people are concerned about this, because... The fear is if you're priced too high, you could be losing out on potential sales. But also if you're priced too low, you are leaving money on the table. So it's understandable that people are you know, looking for some sort of external validation or confirmation that their prices is, are, are right. And what I want to um, talk to you about right now is, is how you can do this. So to explain, I'll, I'll share a little story. So I have a program where we help people to book more sales calls and make more sales. And many people in this program uh, are coming in really to test and validate you know, their first high ticket offer. Not everybody. We have experienced people as well who are already selling high ticket. We also have absolute beginners who are just looking to get their first client. But in this instance, it was someone who had a new high ticket offer and they were um, offering this out to clients for £3,000 and um, had set up some sales conversations and the sales conversations has, had resulted in objections and the, the, the reason given was the price and they had one person in particular who was haggling on price. So my client came to me and said, I think this is a sign that we should create something that's lower ticket, we need to make an offer that's more affordable. And I said, just hold on, just hold on a second. I'm not sure that that is the right direction to go. Now the reason I said this is because I've seen so many people go down this rabbit hole over the years and it's a mistake if you're doing it without having the full picture. And in this instance, my advice to this person was you've only spoken to a couple of people. What I think you need to do is go and get, let's be scientific about it. Let's go and get some data. How about you go and talk to 10 people? And if all 10 people say no, and in each instance it's a, to do with the price, then yeah, maybe we need to look at your price. But I don't think it is price. I don't think that that's the reason that people are saying no. I think that you need to get better at overcoming price objections. I need to. I think you need to get better at recognizing the true value that you're bringing and what you're bringing to the table. And I think you need to get better at explaining and articulating the value of to that person compared to the price that they're currently playing for the problem that you know they're bringing you to, on to solve. So lo and behold, he took my advice and he just came back to a call just a few days, you know, it was only a few days ago. He's come back to a call today and said, hey, we made our first sale at 3000 Now, I just want to put to you that there is absolutely no way he would have made that sale if he hadn't taken on board my advice to go and really test out that offer. And, um, you know, if he hadn't have taken my advice, he would not made any sale right now because he'd be busy conjuring up this new membership site or this lower ticket program. He would have been doing that instead of having conversations with people who are ready to give him money. So my advice to you is if you have been questioning your price, rather than sit there going around in circles trying to think what you could be offering instead or putting a lot of energy and time into creating something lower ticket, which is no guarantee you're going to make sales. How about you just decide to have 10 conversations, at least 10 conversations, and really put this to the test? And how about you do those conversations really with a focus on commu communicating your value and really um, being prepared for price objections? Now, if this resonates, I would love to have you join me where our focus is on booking sales calls and making sales. And I can tell you, you're going to be outstanding at communicating the value of what you offer at the end of these 30 days. How am I so sure about it? Because of the students we've had come through this so far and the difference that I've seen them make. I've had people who, who are landing their first high ticket sales. I've seen people who are already experienced in sales come and make an extra 10, 20K a month. 
in 30 days. And so if results like this excites you, if you recognize that it's time to refocus on your selling skills and make sure that you're actually bringing on paying clients, not just, you know, conjuring up something in the factory to sell to clients, but you're actually having conversations with people who can give you money, then I urge you to check out the link for that is somewhere around me on, on, this, uh, on this video. So that's it from me. I hope this has inspired you and I look forward to seeing you in the next round.